In the fickle world of Hollywood, it's just as easy for a star to rise to fame as it is for them to fall out of the public's good graces. A couple of box office flops, some personal issues, or just the decision to take time off could spell career disaster. Some combination of these factors have led these actors to experience life in the cold shadow of their once towering celebrity status. Toby Maguire Everyone likes to point directly at Toby Maguire's cringeworthy turn as emo Peter Parker in Spider-Man 3 and say, that whatever that was is what killed his career. While that's a fair assessment of that truly awkward performance, it's not the whole story. According to Spider-Man director Sam Raimi's 2013 Vulture interview, Sony was more than willing to give him and Maguire a chance at redemption. It just took Raimi too long to get a script together for Spider-Man 4. That delay, combined with Maguire turning 35 the year production would begin, caused Sony to pivot to what eventually became The Amazing Spider-Man 2012 reboot, starring Andrew Garfield. By this time, Maguire had already started producing films, and with critical darlings like 25th Hour 2002 and Seabiscuit 2003 as credits, that seemed like a natural move for him. Unfortunately, his follow-up producing efforts, Rock of Ages 2012, Pawn Sacrifice 2014, and The Fifth Wave, 2016, all fell way short of earning money. He also suffered a bit of a public image crisis when he was implicated in, and ultimately paid a settlement for his involvement in, an illegal poker club. As of this writing, he's only got one TV movie in production on his IMDb page, so either he's decided to focus on family, he is married with two children or Hollywood has no more interest in ending up for another Maguire move. Jim Carrey Back in his heyday, Jim Carrey was the undisputed king of the box office. Films like The Mask, 1994, Dumb and Dumber, 1994, and Liar Liar, 1997, regularly pulled in more than $100 million. By 2000, he had landed the biggest hit in Hollywood that year. Of course, a lot can change over time. Thanks to low-key comedies such as Mr. Popper's Penguins, 2011, and The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, 2013, Carey's hold on the box office has significantly softened. In recent years, his celebrity status has also taken a hit following the suicide of his ex-girlfriend, Katharina White, which spawned an ugly legal battle with no clear end in sight. John Cusack Truth be told, John Cusack has been steadily working in recent years. It's just that a lot of his films haven't caught on the way they used to. While he reportedly made 17 movies between 2012 and 2016, a good chunk of those titles went straight to DVD or vid. Don't act like you actually saw The Factory in 2012 or The Carrier in 2014. Even his higher quality movies, such as Love and Mercy, 2015, failed to ignite passion in Hollywood despite brief Oscar buzz for co-star Elizabeth Banks. Of course, if this were 15 years ago, Cusack would be able to fall back on the occasional rom-com, like he did to moderate success in Serendipity, 2001, and Must Love Dogs, 2005. But now that he's in his 50s, that tried-and-true formula in flicks such as Say Anything, 1989, and High Fidelity 2000 is starting to feel, well, old. On the bright side, Gusak has kept busy with a number of passion projects, including writing a book about NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden and co-founding the Freedom of the Press Foundation.